This is Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 3, available in phantom black, silver and a new green color finish. Unsurprisingly, the smartphone's core form factor is fairly unchanged from last year, but that's a good thing. It retains a 6.2 inch HD plus dynamic AMOLED cover display, alongside a 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X QX GA plus panel. The phone is slimmer though at 6.4 millimeters compared to 6.9 from last year when opened, and also slightly lighter at 271 grams. Although these things aren't as noticeable in immediately as the curvier body of the Z Fold 3. The Z Fold 2 was sharp and rectangular and we'd call the Z Fold 3 a slightly more beveled finish approach and this is great for comfort in the hand but also to complement the smartphone's other premium aspects. For example, there's Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Protection Armor Aluminium which Samsung claims as being one of the toughest on any smartphone on the hinge of the Z Fold 3 and a protective film across the main Infinity Flex display which makes it 80% more durable. More on the display in just a bit, we also want to add that the Z Fold 3 is IPX8 certified. So finally, this means that the phone is resistant to water and accidental splashes during your daily life and submersion up to 1.5 meters in fresh water for 30 minutes. This is great to see and brings it much closer to a regular flagship smartphone, although the smartphone is still not dust resistant. Getting back to display, there's a few things to keep in mind. The crease is still part of it, although it's not as obvious and doesn't bother us too much anymore, but that display also houses what is one of the first under display cameras or UDCs on a foldable smartphone. It's a bit hard to believe though, because the UDC is still visible at times. For example, with a dark wallpaper, it looks just like any regular camera, and with a whitish wallpaper, it is reduced at some angles, and in some use cases, it even disappears, although most of the time, you're still going to be able to see the matrix of pixels over that camera. We can see what Samsung's going for with this uninterrupted view on its main display, but whether that outweighs the quality drop from the 4 megapixel sensor that they've equipped on the phone, we'll have to wait for some more hands-on time. Aside from that, you're looking at the full 120Hz package on the inside, and also on the outside. It's running on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chip with 12GB of RAM and 256GB or 512GB of storage. And with Android 11 and One UI 2.1, the Z Fold 3 is really an extension of what we saw last year. So flex mode is still here and this time you'll be able to interact with it using an S Pen as well. The Z Fold 3 is the first foldable from Samsung allowing for S Pen interaction and that too only on the inner display. You get either the S Pen Fold Edition or the bigger S Pen Pro which can be used across the Z Fold 3 and other devices. The only difference between the two is size and the fact that the S Pen Pro also has Bluetooth connectivity. And you can use the S Pen for just about anything on the inner display. So for instance, if you're watching a YouTube video in flex mode, double tapping the bottom part of the display with the S Pen allows for quick note taking. And this is something that's quite handy. And you'll find a lot of these handy features baked into the Z Fold 3 software. Another example is forcing applications in split screen mode, which means applications like Netflix, which are never supported that way, can now be enjoyed in that manner. The extension to drag in split view which we first saw on the Z Fold 2 also is pretty cool and it works with just about any application although we found it particularly useful when browsing through Amazon and for you to be able to select a specific thing that you want to buy and just open it up in a split screen view. And then there's even a permanent window style taskbar option allowing for quick switching between normal and paired applications on the fly with recently opened ones sitting on the top three icons and that taskbar is there permanently for you to be able to use the applications that you have pinned. And that's much of the inner display, but the outer display also sees a refresh rate update from last year, so a full 120 hertz experience, and the top of it is where you'll find a 10 megapixel camera. The primary housing for the cameras that you'd find on the back of the smartphone is also a bit smaller compared to last year's, but the raw specifications here are just about the same. The Z Fold 3 has a triple 12 megapixel camera setup. 
Running the entire show is a 4400 milliamp hour battery with support for 25 watt wired, 10 watt wireless and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging and no charging brick or headphones come with the device out of the box. So that's our look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Stay tuned for a lot more extensive coverage coming very shortly and make sure to like and subscribe. This was Vabov and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!